Hey everyone, welcome back to Lonely James plays with his friend. girlfriend. Girlfriend. His friend. Steven. I play with my girlfriend, <laughs> not in a sexual way, in a video game way, like buddy pals, but it is a sexual way because it's video games. Uh, yeah, uh, we're playing Honeycomb Studio. You're just saying a lot of words now. <laughs> I am. Uh, yeah, we're playing Honeycomb Studio. Um, for y'all that don't know what this is, it's uh, it's like a management sim cookie clicker kind of game. Uh, where you are the agents, air brackets, of uh, a, a variety of different girls who are trying to make uh, a name for themselves and make a living in the um, camming world. Right, okay, so we've just sent uh, the Mamacita to the modelling agency to find uh, somebody new. So now, as you can see, we've got a completely different set of girls again. Um, uh, the stats are all different, and as you can see, like uh, Audrey here, she's addicted Audrey to Audrey looks so done with life, doesn't she? Audrey started messing with hard drugs after having a heart broken Jesus by her last boyfriend, Christ, and now Audrey. she needs a way to feed her awesome coke habit. Holy shit! Audrey, sweetie, no. Oh, no. No, my darling. <laughs> oh, baby. No. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, like, yeah, it can get a little bit cray, uh, but again, it just depends on who you pick. Uh, again, like each person here, they have different attributes, so we've got two Asian uh, girls here. I kind of uh, don't like how this game has cam girls like addicted to things. Like, well, like, Belly that's was not a conservative thing. Belly was a conservative yoga. Well, <laughs> here, um, uh, she was a yoga instructor until recently when she discovered her true sexual nature, and frankly, she's kind of a freak. See, that's the kind of thing that quite a lot of cam girls are like. It's like, you know what? I'm a bit freaky. I'm really confident, and I like working for myself. Yeah. Why not make this a thing? But well, I... you have to remember as well, though, that every like all of these different girls like have different backstories. I know. I just mean so like did my... you, like in in the like 15 different girls that there are like only one of them I think isn't it is yeah like this. Well, I'm I, I just mean I've never. In my experience, I've never heard of or come across or met a cam girl that is addicted to hard drugs and no. uses this to support I, her habit. I think that's that's quite an old-fashioned like it is. It's stigma. Very, it is. It's very sucky. And we and I say old-fashioned like, oh yes, back in the seventies, <laughs> like, well, that didn't exist. So, yeah, it, it's it's a it's I think it's a, a stigma that that's kind of hard pressed on when ultimately what you have to, what everyone has to realize is, yeah. The, the economy right now isn't great, so people are trying to make do with how they can and, and so like being self-employed and being able to find something like this Yeah, that like they this can, industry has empowered so many women, it's fantastic. And I think, I think that's the key word there, is empowered. It is amazing. It is like one of the only female dominated careers really. Uh, yeah. It's I would. I well, love it, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's kind of doing the whole. Well, yeah, I I know that I look good. I know that I look sexy. How can I use this to my advantage? How can I be well, an intelligent that, business yeah, person? Like, I was gonna say it's a lot more about intelligence. Yeah. How, how, you how can I be smart be and make like, yeah savvy. make very smart decisions uh, in order to draw people to come and uh, yeah. purchase my time? time. Like, a lot of it is how you look, but I would say a good seventy percent of it is. How you promote it and how you conduct yourself and yeah. your brand, as it were. Yeah, as it were. As it were. Uh, right. Okay. So <laughs> based on this, who shall we go with? I would go with um... Leilani. Yeah, I was going to say Leilani. Pacific to get away from her strict family and live by her rules. She acts shy, but she knows what she's doing. Oh yes, Le Le Leilani. 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 <laughs> la, 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 la. Right, la, so la, la, la. yeah, because like as well uh, as you can see, these numbers are all different. So yeah, uh, talent level three earns one cash for each friend she has while camming. So that's she's good. Right? yeah, well yeah. that's the higher the level, I think. So like her pay rate is higher mm. now. So she's on four dollars an hour, okay. which again doesn't seem like much, but again wait until everyone's boosted up like leveling. Like that's what we're gonna do this this episode. Oh, so right. we're gonna get Leilani, uh, girls. We can drag her. I hope I do okay. So oh, do you I. do amazing, sweetie. So do I, sweetie. Outfit, let's see what we've got. Ooh, native chick. What's native chick? Native chic. Native chic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so tired. Really crop. How? That <laughs> isn't she Hawaiian? Why are they putting her in Native American clothing? I, d I don't know. I <laughs> think it's so because crazy. of her skin. I know, I think oh it's because God. of her skin tone. Wow. Yeah. 
don't do that, James. We'll have the tumblers coming out. Ah, oh, shit. I don't, want, I don't need no tumbler warriors coming at me. I already worry about them as it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you have yeah, nightmares. Okay. It's quite it's scary yeah, when you So at the, at the minute, this is so one cash for each fan she has while camming. Uh, so obviously, we want to build everyone's fan bases to earn more money. Uh, and it's five fans each time she does a photo shoot. So we want to be boost up everybody's... Uh, style and talent levels now, but as we do that, it increases their pay rate per hour, which is but, completely fine. And we ma we make more money per hour. Don't yeah, we, so. that's it. So it's it's balancing how much everyone can earn versus how much we have to pay everyone, which is just like basic business, really. So uh, we'll send her to the boutique. Okay. Uh, we'll send her to the strip club I to boost it. her talent, I and she, uh, Nikki, is. Uh, we'll send her to the strip club as well because I think she's in it. She's so yeah. We're gonna do some clicking, and then we're gonna give everybody their points. Let's see payroll process. Uh, I think we'll send you to think. This is where it starts to get weird and messy because you've got to try and remember where you've sent everyone. Uh, and she needs to go to the boutique, uh, and then send her to photo shoot. Right. So now, so Nikki's leveled up to level two. So now she's on two dollars an hour. Every time you do that, see now she's on eight. Every time you level up one of those things, their pay rate goes up to double. So at the end, you can have five level five and level five uh, for both. And when you do that, they're on like $128 an hour, I think. Like, so it's not like they're paying. Yeah, that's it. That's. I don't that much money now. But now look, look at how much they can earn in the photo studio. Uh, how many fans they can get in the studio. Ooh, and the, you know, that's pretty good. So, and we can, and again, we can improve that. Uh, based on, uh, what you call it, uh, we can improve our camera equipment, like we can upgrade our internet, that kind of stuff, and then we get more funds per session as well. So it, it's again, it's like true to life. You know, you when you start off, you start small, you start off with a webcam or whatever. It's just the same as the, us doing this channel, and then it, it grows uh, accordingly. So it's although to be fair, I've seen. I don't want to bash any cam girls or anything because we're all fucking well, you don't powerful, need to, you don't sexy need to, women. I but guess you don't need to name. No, no, I just mean I've seen some cam girls with fantastic equipment and like amazing looking quality photos and things, but they just look so disinterested and have no personality to them. And they're complaining about earning less than minimum wage an hour. I'm like, I guess you've got to have a personality. You can't just look. Pretty. Yeah, I, I guess I guess that's uh, that's maybe something to be said about. Uh, I think that's about everything, though. You've got to have passion about what you do. Okay. You can't just kind of look the part. You oh know, yeah, definitely. Enjoy what you're doing. Uh, and... We'll do promo as well. I remember because they change every day. Yeah. Right. So uh, a lot of these go into fetishes more than anything. So it's like particular things like nobody is water sports, but you can encourage uh, your girls to take on different. Uh, fetishes by going to the adult store and basically getting uh, different toys that they can use so you can get like uh, a butt plug and then their fetish will be anal. Uh, it, it, it vastly simplifies like the idea of fetishes as like augmentation within the game. Yeah. So it's real simple. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll buy. So I've sent Leilana to the shopping, to the adult shop uh, and when we go there you get a random uh, selection of uh, toys that kind of pop up, uh, so I'll, I'll try and boost that to try and... Oh, I've already sent thingy. Uh, it's right, so here we go. So this is this is where you start to get into the weird kind of category. Yeah. <laughs> Some of these are completely ordinary, I guess you'd say. Um, but you get some that have become more stigmatised. So weed uh, activities will be half as stressful as normal and it lasts three days. Every time you do a task, you uh, get stressed out, just like going to work. You know, if you go to work 10 days in a row, at the end of it, you're going to be pretty stressed. It's common sense. Yeah. Uh, so all this does is it chills you out. Uh, anybody out there who has ever tried uh, weed as a recreational drug will know the that... Marijuana. Yes, the marijuana, the Mary Jane, all the other words. Uh, they'll know it's, you know, it, it does chill you out. It, it mellows you and it makes things a little bit bearable, a little bit more bearable, shall mm. we say. Uh, obviously, it depends on where you live whether or not uh, obtaining it is legal or not. Uh, but uh, yeah, so you can see the benefit there, but again, you can see where the stigma of drugs kind of comes into it. Yeah. Uh, chocolate cake, cake farting <laughs> fetish supported. You know what? I know this might be a bit weird to say, but 
I kind of always wanted to do the whole cake thing, not the farting, but I no. want someone to pay me just to jump cover on a cake. myself in food and eat it. It'd be amazing. What's, what's the food? No one, it's no one has asked me to do that. What's it called it's again? Splashing. splashing. Yeah, it's splashing. Splashing. I wish that was. It more sounds of, like. If anyone's watching, <laughs> hit me up to pay me. To right? Is it just me or does myself in cake? Does please. splashing <laughs> sound like? Um, somebody trying to initiate a mosh pit at a water park. <laughs> Come on, everybody, I want to see you all splashing! You know, a circle pit! When we go to a walk up water park. I'm going to start, please, I'm going to splash so hard. <laughs> Just you wait. Uh, speaking of water, uh, a water bottle so you can do the water sports fetish. Uh, yeah, wait a minute, what? You know, I think the idea is you drink water oh, you, or you okay. use that to do the thing. What did you think the thing was? Just pouring water on themselves. I was like, oh, okay. Am I am I a weirdo? Do I think that is is it actually quite a normal thing? And I think it's a really weird thing. golden shower. Okay. I, think I is... thought I was being a complete weirdo. Then. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we've got what uh, what spot says. You can see like uh, fans aren't from the photo shoot increase uh, plus twenty five percent, but I think that's only based on uh, that particular fetish. So I've never really dabbled too much in these because I find it quite confusing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not the not the fetish itself, just the way that the mechanic works. That's all. Uh, then again, this is the this is the seedier side of things. Oh yeah. Uh, the STD thing. Yeah. Uh, that there. Cam is... girls don't have STDs, by the way, guys. Don't no. assume that. Um, so this building is a sleazy motel. When you play this game with the tutorial on after like so many days, she turns on. She's like, uh. If you're not making that much money, why don't you see if any of the girls are willing to meet up with the, the, no, the customers? And no. it's like, oh, that is so not safe and That's so no. not practical in so many ways. Gross. Um, what you can do if you choose to go down that route in this game is you can get condoms so that you can at least do the act safely. But that still doesn't attribute to like the emotional and psychological and mental kind of like strain that that would cause on anybody who's basically being asked hey do you want to go and sleep with that person who you're totally not attracted to you know yeah, I mean, unless you make that choice yourself yeah that's you gonna have some weird yeah exactly that is it's a weird stigma which is cool if you make that choice yourself more yeah like, more power to you yeah but you if know. you don't make that choice yourself it's yeah gonna that's it like you up. yeah definitely um and then a slightly less sleazy one and talent while pole dancing in half the time as normal oh, so cool. you can level up uh, somebody's uh, dancing, you know, so they can get more talented in half the time, which is always cool. And then this uh, shopping basket doubles the amount of cigarettes oh, and drinks bought from the stores. So that's you pretty handy, actually. It is. Um, I wasn't aware of that. As you, as you get more and more varied uh, kind of performers to work with, uh, you will find that some of them, you know, they smoke or they drink uh, just in general. Yeah. Uh, some of them, as we saw from the past episode, what's the girl called again? The The stereotypical like drug addict was oh, addicted so, so like hair like stats go down <laughs> real quick yeah you know and it's like oh well if you're sending someone to go and get some cigarettes and some booze at least they can get more so you don't need to do it as often and micromanagement woo mm. um <laughs> what do you think we should get um do you think the shopping basket would be a good start for later on like we don't need yeah, it now but... well yeah okay because there's nothing we can really I would say that all the stripper heels, but I will leave it to your judgment. I'm gonna say the basket for now. You have played this a lot more than I have. Uh, level two, level shot. two. Uh, yeah. So, right now we've done a hell of a lot of explaining. <laughs> the game is pretty self-explanatory. Really, it's just watch and see. Really. Uh, obviously, all we're gonna try and do is just try and earn money. Uh, what we can do as well as we go along obviously is what we've been doing is investing uh, in like better equipment and, and you can invest in like the way that you operate in certain buildings like the amount of girls that you can put in certain buildings at a time no that problem. kind of stuff which is pretty cool because um, it gets to a point as well where you can absolutely hammer it oh, she's pretty stressed uh we'll do. one more camp shift there you go see do you see what i mean like yeah, I'm pretty stressed. I don't sure, really want to keep performing. No, but I know, but that little extra little bit of money. That just makes you more stressed. It's starting, to, it's starting to feel a little bit sleazy, you know, but this is how the game works, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, so we'll get this camera out of the way and then we'll make everybody de stressed. Yeah, so look, see, she's super stressed. Super, super, super stressed. And 
Nikki's really stressed and um, Leilani's pretty stressed as well. So what we'll do is we will get everybody in the day spa uh, so they can all chill out. And while we're doing this, obviously we've got a fair bit of money now. We've got a couple of hundred uh, fans, so we'll pay off the payroll, so that's done. So this is how much money that we have left, and that's our inventory. Okay. Uh, we don't cool. need to worry too much about that. Invest. So now let's have a look. Uh, we, we can already take up another girl. Uh, don't need to worry too much about these, to be honest. It don't really bother. Uh, I want to I upgrade them more. I'll upgrade that. I'll upgrade the little ones for now. Yeah. Uh, there we go. See, nice and easy, and then we can get everybody less stressed. Um, what you can do as well, uh, as you saw like in the shopping thingy, there's a couple of different items that you can get that really, really help out with a lot of stuff. Let's see, people process they didn't even take anything off me. Because they were wet working, they were chilling out. No, I just mean I liked how it all ended at the same time. Sure, yeah. why not? See, exactly. <laughs> it's, uh, it can really That's help fine. your uh, like OCD. Uh, okay. Yeah, to the butter place. So we'll, we'll keep boosting the adult shop. Basically, there's a couple of items that when you're playing this, you want to keep an eye out for. Uh, that's the subscribe pillar. Yes. Because every time... I want a real life subscribe pillow. Yeah. I um, really want one. <laughs> right, so we've got the chocolate cake again. We've got the antibiotics again. What's... Right, the butt plug. So that's an anal, anal fetish, like I said. Makes sense. Uh, fashion magazine and style while shopping in half the time as normal. But again, that's no big deal. No. Uh, steroids negates the effect of any STD for two days. So again, that's into the sleazy style thing. Um, and then a uh, condom prevents girls from contracting an STD while they're squatting, but it's only a single use. So, uh, you know, not really worried too much about most of those, to be honest. I want to be looking at I these. I would get the butt plug. Should we get the butt plug? Yeah. Burp. Okay, uh, I'll tell you what then, let's look at our gals. Oh, gals. Yeah. Uh, should we, because she's got a thick, a thick ass. ass, should we give her the butt plug? That's what I, that's what I yes. was thinking. Yeah? Yeah. Cool, okay, books, butt plug. <laughs> it was her one, it was yes. Kiana. Awesome! I thought it was too. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, and we've got another slot, so let's let's go for another gal as well. All right then. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Cool. Okay, so we've got a nice little little partner going. Oh no, you can see as well because uh, she smokes cigarettes. So every now and again, the cigarette marker will go oh, down. Oh yeah, it's going down. It's yeah. Really um, but we've got the basket. Ah, right. So right. So it was Audrey that was oh, talking Audrey, about last time. Just no one wants you. Go away. Go. Right. Go look after so, yourself. Look at the spread of stuff at the minute. So she's a pretty in the middle. We've already got some fans that people have been yeah. into, you know, like. Uh, um, but the toll that it takes, like, yeah. when you run out of. I would go for Tiffany. You want to go with Tiffany? Yeah. Because I personally would go with um, Ica because. See, I'm trying to avoid people addicted to like things. I know, but it's hard to to get to that point. Yeah. Like we can do that, but she's basically like a leveled up okay. person. Like yeah, okay. Where like she's a lovely, beautiful. She's a teen, you know. She's a lovely little nubile college student yeah. who's paying off her student loans. Uh, Ica uh, is looking for a way to fill her days after recently being fired from her job as a university professor for sexual misconduct with her students. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can you imagine if that was a guy in this game? Oh they wouldn't God. have been able to put that at all, no, would they? No, totally different. Double standards, that's not cool. Right, okay, who should we go with then? We can either go with like a level up, Let's go with a fucking sexual woman, offender. A sexual offender. Well, we can go with Tiffany if you'd rather. <laughs> no, we can to go... To keep it lovely and sweet. <laughs> Because we already have some no, fans. We, we need to be about the money, don't we? And level up. I but, don't know. I don't want it to start sexually abusing minors. All right, we'll go with Tiffany then. But we'll just get to keep these two in a, in a room separate from each other. Yeah, right, great. Right, let's get Tiffany. We'll get Tiffany, and on that note, we will end the episode <laughs> there. On a lovely, on a lovely, on a lovely corner. note. Uh, yeah, but uh, thanks for uh, watching, guys. Um, we will see you next time on Lonely James plays with girlfriend. Yay. Yay. <laughs> um yeah, uh, I've been James and you have been Stiver. Stiver. 
Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, and we will see you guys uh, next time. Okay. Bye. Bye.